type yeah. scenario. But what still needs to be cleared up even after hearing uh, what Nate just told us? What the rule is. That's what needs to be cleared up. That That is, it, it's, it's very simple. I applaud Mike Helton and NASCAR for at least stepping out of the truck, not hiding in the truck, stepping out, confronting the issue, trying to explain their point of view and where there's at. There is no documentation in the rule book under that section that backs up the call they made. I'm, I'm sorry. If we read the rule book, what other rule book in the, in the country, whether it be NBA, NFL, whatever it may be, has unwritten rules that are supposedly there, and we may go with them, but we may not go with them. And if they come up, we're going to use them. But if they don't come up, we don't want to use them. And the competitors don't know what they are. My unanswered question is still from NASCAR. What is the rule? I thought, and the rule I always raced under, and the rule that we talked about earlier was, leader starts the race in the box, lights come on, flag comes out. That is an attempt. That is starting the race or restarting the race. Let me put it that way. So in my mind, there was an attempt. NASCAR chose to push that to the side and say that was not. But there's not a rule that explains why it's not. I, I think that's, you know, that's been the issue for a long time in NASCAR. You know, NASCAR's going to look and say it says green flag. And, and did the green flag come out? So it's just finding a way to be more clear with the rules, have more things in writing. And NASCAR is further along today than they've ever been yes. as far as having things in writing. But all these types of procedures that come up, we need in black and white that's very, very clear so that we all understand it. Listen, every competitor wants to know the rules. If you don't know the rules, you cannot compete the best to the best of your ability. So things like this are things that we need to fix a little bit. We need to clean up. We need to make it crystal clear exactly what the rule is. And that, you know, that's, that falls on NASCAR to make that happen. They may feel like the, the language is clear, but you know, for me and most people I've talked to today, well, everybody I've talked to today, the, the rule wasn't as clear as they feel like it needed to be. I, you know, to, to, to rediscuss what we, we talked about earlier, I, I wasn't aware of this rule either. It definitely needs to be clarified. But there is one rule that I have, I have been, I've had enforced before. At the very end of the rule book, there's a rule, and I don't know if it's still there, and don't quote me on the exact verbiage, but it's something to the effect of, um, at the end of the day, all these rules are left to our discretion. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I mean, they always have that rule. And, and you know, it is a complex issue. I mean, we would love to... And I research specific to what happened between the, the failed attempt and the final restart. Walk us through what you found. Yeah, you know, I, I like that Kevin Harpick called it that first restart. Because in my mind, that's what it was. It was a restart. And Joey Logano's restart. Well, as we look right here, this is the first one. I want you to look to the left here. That's the green flag. That's the green light. Joey Logano has started, in my opinion, and in most of the drivers' opinion after the race, this was the first attempt. And this is what caused all the issues. We go back. This is the, the, the reverse angle of that first attempt. We see Kevin Harvick pull over out of the way at a slower speed. Look at these cars going by him on the outside. He was in line 12th in this position. Now, NASCAR has the right to say he's not up to speed or he is up to speed or he's maintaining his speed. But right here, he is 16th in line or 15th or 16th. He has gone from 12th on the grid to 15th or 16th. But miraculously, when we show up for the second restart, here Kevin Harvick is in the 10th position, and there we see the 48 and the 5 and the 42 at the back of the field. Now, I understand when you come to pit road, when you come to pit road, you go to the back of the field, and that's what those guys did. But the rule says, and NASCAR has a scoring loop, and they have scoring loops around. When a race is stopped after the completion of at least one lap, vehicles will line up in their respective track order in which they were scored. Are you telling me there wasn't a scoring loop between the end of the start finish line or the, the end of pit road and the start finish line when Kevin Harvick dropped to 16th? I can't believe that. They just reverted back to the lap before that and threw the rule or took the rule and pushed it to the side and said, this is what we're going to do. But that's where the can of worms were open and why we're still talking about Kevin Harvick and all this stuff. There were, I believe, there were issues with the restart, whether it was a real restart, whether it was a virtual restart, an imaginary restart. The 48 and the 5 know it was a real restart because they ended up in the grass. But NASCAR went this way instead of maybe following what it said in the rule book, and now we have the issues that we have. Yeah, Kyle, I talked to some, uh, some people from NASCAR today, and they told me the reason they put Kyle back, I'm sorry, the reason they put Kevin back was because the restart essentially never happened. Uh, and, and, but, you know, but the problem is, you know, to me and to everybody I've talked to, the restart did happen. The green flags waving, Joey Logano started the race. It did happen. And to me, Kevin Harvick got really lucky in this situation, and NASCAR allowed him to get his spot back. And here's why I say that. There's a rule that says you can't pass under caution. 
cars must maintain their position. But if someone slows down in front of you, if they run out of gas, if, if their machinery won't allow them to keep pace, you're allowed to pass them because they can't keep that pace. So I don't see how this is different. I think if Kevin Harvick couldn't keep pace on this first restart, the restart that never happened, then they should have put him not in the back of the pack, but they should have put him behind the cars that passed him. That's where he should have restarted because he couldn't maintain the pace that the rest of the field could maintain. Now on the second one, he was able to maintain. He did a better job of understanding how to manipulate what his car could and couldn't do because you know as well as I do when you're driving a car that won't run, the second or third time you do a restart, you figure it out and you get it better. So he figured out how to do it the second time, but the first time, they're saying it never happened, so we put him back. But also, there's a rule that says you can't, you have to maintain position under caution. But if somebody slows down, they can't keep pace, you can pass them. So I think Kevin Harvick got very lucky in them allowing him to restart. I don't think there was a conspiracy that said, we want Kevin Harvick to win the championship and we want to put him in this spot. I just think, in all honesty, I think them saying this was not an attempt, making that decision started a cascade of other decisions they had to make and ultimately that was the reason for this decision but it all started with making the decision first that that first restart essentially never happened it sort of feels like we've unearthed yes. some new controversy because if it never happened do you just give Jimmy Johnson time to fix his car and get back out there? And that's the whole point. I do understand that when you come to pit road. But remember, Kevin Harvick pulled out of line on that first restart on his own. On his own. NASCAR didn't tell him to get out of line. They gave him back that position, which means they never even scored that lap. So where did that lap go? Is it in the ether somewhere? I don't understand where that, where that lap went. But it all started with that first non-call on a restart. It's in the cloud. Yes, it is. It's, it's in, in the, the cloud. cloud. Coming Pull it up, down. coming up, Kyle. Bush has had quite a roller coaster year, starting with an awful crash at Daytona back in February.